Daniel 5, The Writing on the Wall Belshazzar was a proud king of the Babylonian Empire. He thought his kingdom would last forever. He believed he was so powerful that no one could defeat him. His city was the best defended in the world. He was unbeatable and he wanted to celebrate just how great he was. So he decided to have a great big party to celebrate how successful he was. 1,000 very important people would be invited. His servants looked at the long list of guests. The king has invited 1,000 guests. That means at least a thousand of everything. Masses of food. Vast amounts of food and wine were delivered to the king's palace. All the guests arrived and the king began to show off how great he was. Everyone drank lots of wine. Then the king had a wicked thought. Bring in the sacred cups we took from the temple in Jerusalem. So the servants rushed to bring in the gold and silver cups robbed from God's temple in Jerusalem when the Babylonians had captured that city. The king, his wives, his princes and the guests filled the temple cups with wine and started drinking from them. They celebrated and became more and more drunk. They mocked God. And they began to praise their false gods made of gold, silver, brass, iron, wood and stone. King Belshazzar showed total disrespect to the one true God. Suddenly a light shone brightly on one of the walls. What is that? the king asked. Where did that light come from? He began to tremble. Then a hand appeared and began to write something on the wall. The king was terrified. The finger wrote some very strange words. Many, many, tickle, a parson? What does this mean? the king fretted. Someone, tell me, what does this mean? Call my clever men. The astrologers and soothsayers looked at the strange words and had no idea what they meant. So, not one of you can explain these words, the king muttered. Bring in my wise men. But the wise men had no idea what the words meant either. The king became very annoyed. I pay you to work these things out. I will reward the person who can tell me what these words mean. The wise men stared at the mysterious words. They had no idea where the hand had come from. They were completely baffled. By now the king was getting very scared. No one knows what these words mean. Help! But then the queen had a good idea. Don't worry, I know someone who worked for your father, King Nebuchadnezzar, who was very, very, very wise. He could help you. His name is Daniel. He is a Jew that was captured when we invaded Jerusalem. Send for Daniel at once, the king ordered. A servant rushed to find Daniel and bring him to the palace. Are you, Daniel, my father captured and brought to Babylon? the king asked. I've heard your God can help you interpret mysterious things. God can help me tell you the meaning of these words, Daniel replied. Many means numbered. So the message begins. Numbered, numbered. Tekel means weighed. And a parson means divided. This message means that God has numbered your days and time has run out. God has weighed your wickedness and is bringing judgment. Your kingdom is about to be divided and fall. The king did not like the news, but he had promised to reward the person who interpreted the words. Daniel was promoted and given special clothes to honour him. And that very night, the army of the Medes and the Persians, led by King Cyrus, diverted the river running through the mighty city of Babylon and invaded along the dry river bed. The proud, defiant and wicked King Belshazzar was killed and his empire fell to King Cyrus. His days had been numbered and he was now facing God's judgment.